One of the uh, letters uh, that was quite common uh, to be written back when people would inquire, at least in the province of Ontario, Canada, would ask about uh, birth registration systems and what the uh, Registrar General's main purpose was. And because people were inquiring so much about the financial aspect regarding uh, what a lot of uh, patriot and sovereignty groups uh, were in belief was going on because they believed they were being sold, um, they were actually being uh, used for money. Um, but uh, as we know, the legal system is based on fiction. So, and money is a fiction. It's not reality. It's not something that grows on trees. But uh, the uh, legal registrar uh, or the registrar general would write back and, and just say, uh, to be clear, the office of the registrar general does not register people. It registers events. Well, of course, it being a legal system, a legal registrar, it registers a legal event. Now, an event can be a contract, an event um, can be the assignment of a title. But the key thing to remember is it doesn't have anything to do with reality. Okay, now when we look at, uh, this was just a document under entity selection on a government site. And it says, in Canada, an entity assumes its form upon registration or incorporation. So when the two things appear to be being joined together, even though there's no consent of the child to do so, you'll notice that they put a comma in between. It's not really an incorporation. It kind of looks like something happened, but because the child could not consent to incorporate their true title from God with the legal title of the world of man um, under the satanic kingdoms, um, there has to be a separation there. So they have d deliberately made these versions look the way they do, as would be the names on the docket and the way the driver's licenses appear. That's why you won't see given name and surname. So it's just a merger, kind of putting the two together. That's why they always like to have the names generally when they're being printed on paper, uh, dealing with someone who's per uh, began participation as a surety in the legal world, they'll just have the names side by side, looking like there's no difference. And when you put two things together like that with no differentiation between given name and surname, you now basically have a merger and that's confusion. So when that happens, basically they're one and the same because they become one and the same. So in the view of the, of the legal system, you are one and the same upon that merger. So we have to look at things from the perspective of what's really going on there, but they did not register people. And as we note in Revelation, it says in Revelation for God's people to come out of her. So to come out, you'd have to have something to come out with that would be in reality something relating to what we would call an individual who would be of the people of God. And therefore your God-given name is something that is separate from that, it's private. It does not belong to Caesar or the state. So the Registrar General hasn't, uh, hasn't basically been able to really, uh, shall we say, take what is unalienable. It's the fact that you're consenting to be an alienable item. And there's no one else gonna play this role for the legal state other than you. And it's going to take courage and good faith and conscience to walk forward out of this. You're not going to be able to climb the mountain based on a theory. You're going to have to do that. And so we hope that uh, through this building of faith through these parts of the videos, you're going to see that you can't walk on both sides on this. So if you've registered everything into the legal system that you're in, you're going to have to be willing to forsake all of that in order to get out. Uh, you're not going to be able to pick and choose uh, what you want to remain in with. You're either going to be a legal participant or you're not. And uh, therefore, uh, we hope uh, that through breaking down words, which we do very simply here, you'll notice that we're, we're trying to separate them. You can see them on there. Even when I'm just writing something out, I just want you to see it in a simplistic manner. 
that we're not getting overcomplicated. We're not going to write essays on the board here. There's no need to that. Uh, simple learning is simple learning. And this is not complicated, but it becomes complicated because the world you're living in lives on confusion and complications run by these legal advocates who basically operate every street corner, every business, every aspect of the legal world uh, in mirror of what is reality. So um, be aware, we're gonna continue these videos and help people to break down the simplicity of actually knowing how you're gonna walk.